What's going on, everybody? This is Kevin Sampson of Picture Lock. Right now, I have the co-producers of Horizon, Simon Pierce and Paul Dudbridge. Guys, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks for having us, yeah. (laughs) All right, guys. So um, Horizon is actually going to be playing at the DC Web Fest. Could you guys give a description to the audience about what Horizon is all about? Okay, Uh, yeah, so Horizon is a 10-part science fiction web series uh, set here in the UK in our hometown of Bristol, and it's about an alien ship arriving over the city and five friends basically choosing what they do in that situation. They try to evacuate, but they meet up with the military, looters, a city in panic, and all sorts of obstacles on the way. All right, so how did you guys come up with the idea? Uh, well, that started with you, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, I was I was on a job one day with another cameraman, and we were talking about projects that we'd like to do, and um, the idea of a web series came up, and, and between Simon and I, we had done um, feature films, music videos, commercials, short films, but a web series is something we hadn't tackled before, and being both fans of episodic TV, we thought it would be a nice challenge to kind of tell a story um, with that formula and with that. At, uh, with that sort of distribution avenue, really, and just the you know having the options to have cliffhangers at the end of each episode and to sort of delay uh, revealing things that we'd set up in earlier episodes, just in the, in the fashion of uh, of shows like Lost or Walking Dead and, and shows like Twenty Four, and we just wanted to make our own version of that, um, and it was just a mixture then of involving our, our hometown. Uh, and working with sort of visual effects that I've got a background in and sort of pushing the envelope there, really. So they all sort of came together, and, and Horizon was the result. Yeah, and, you know, I'm going to geek out for a, a second. On the, in the pilot, I love how uh, you guys dolly from behind the car tire. We do this slow reveal of this accident, and then the main char- one of the main characters is just standing there, like, in shock. Uh, I, th- I thought that was brilliant. I guess, Paul, that was on you as the director. Um, I thought that was awesome. But what are some of those things that make this web series special? Because I think that's one of the things that stood out to me. Um, definitely the cinematography. Um, I mean, come on, like to have a car upside down, that's pretty big budget stuff. Uh, so what makes it special? Well, I think it was a nice culmination. We've been making short film projects, feature film projects in Bristol for years, and we've built a really nice network of uh, collaborators in the city, you know, people who work in front of the camera, behind the camera. So it was just a nice combination of everything we'd learned. Um, And with things like the car accident, that was actually Paul's idea to start with something like that, just to hopefully really grab people from the get-go. And that was actually done because we knew there's a location in Bristol uh, somewhere called the Road to Nowhere, which is just an unfinished stretch of dual carriageway. And we have a hospital drama casualty that was filmed here, and they use it all the time for car accidents and various things. So we knew about this place that was available. And Paul had made a music video before, which involved having a car on its roof where we basically just went to a local sort of car wreckers yard and said hey for a bit of cash in hand can you come and dump a car on its roof and then collect it again at the end of the day (laughs) it was was finding all these ways around obviously our budget limitations and we wanted to because obviously we're trying to show a sort of city in panic and things like this and we didn't want to resort to kind of low budget tricks where it's all just sound effects and all off camera so even though we couldn't go all out with that we wanted little glimpses now and again of things like that and things like the car crash which are still fairly contained from our point of view were a nice way of showing that without going too far so the audience i think still gets a sense of a sense of scale and a sense of the city panicking right most definitely um and so can we just talk a little bit about the writing so you know with a sure. web series you have to develop characters very quickly um mm-hmm. help us to invest in it but then also help us to want to click to watch the next episode so could you talk a little bit about um how you guys wrote and direct and develop these characters well uh we have a, a, a writer chris marshfield who worked with simon and myself and we basically started by sitting in a room and talking about what we would like to do and sort of developing the, the story arc of the whole of the the 10 episodes um, and we all sort of chipped in and developed and once we had identified what was going to happen in each of the episodes we then just divvied up those episodes between us and went off and wrote the scripts um, I think I wrote four I think you did five I think and then Chris ended up doing uh, just one episode but he was just kind of overseeing the the story in general um, and and that's where it kind of came about really and, and it was great fun to work in that way because we we're working obviously on our own from the, each individual episode point of view but then I might get a text message or a conversation off Sai and Sai would say look I'm writing episode three I need you to plant something in episode two for me that I can refer this to and we can set this up and pay it off in episode six or whatever so we'd come together every so often and kind of talk about what we were doing and then when 
Now all of them were done, we would sit down and just review all 10 and see where they worked and see where they didn't work. And it was just an, it was a writing uh, exercise that neither of us had done before, working in a, in a, you know, in a, in a, a trio, team. Like, in a team, yeah. Because yeah. we've all written before, all of us, but all individually. And it was a, it was a lovely creative well, challenge, really, wasn't it? As well as... Yeah, and I, I, th I think with the characters as well, um, that certainly was the challenge because we were very keen, because this is a web series, to make something where each episode you know, it's no more than sort of four or five minutes in length because obviously, I mean, we all do it nowadays. You know, the attention spans of people online, unless you've got a named actor or a big budget, people aren't necessarily going to stick around. So um, it was about how we could get those sort of character and emotional beats that you still care about these people in a short space of time. Um, and so, you know, we intentionally wanted to open with a bang and to have, the, you know, things like the car crash. And then, as I said, just to find these moments throughout where you could pepper little bits of character so that you're still getting that, but at the same time having enough action that people want to keep watching. Right, most definitely, and I, I think it really does that, um, you know, uh, yeah, I, I could geek out. Maybe we have to, like, do a, a separate longer interview so I could really, like, get into, like, all the crazy stuff that you guys do that. But, I mean, yeah. you guys could really do a workshop because, like you said, um, there's a difference between going for that, you know, low-budget tricks, but then mm -hmm. actually um, thinking about in, in the production, like, how can we make this awesome? How can this not just be something that you know you watch on YouTube, but like you might watch on Netflix or like you know on TV. And I, I think you guys really achieved that with uh, with this series. Um, okay. What are some of your short? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what no, are no. some of the short and uh, long term goals that you actually have for the series? Well, we're in the process now of actually writing. We've started. We're starting all over again. We're writing se uh, season two. Um, because episode, uh, well, we answered a lot of the questions that we 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 you know we asked in the first season, but some of them were left unopen, you know, unanswered and unopened for the audience. So we're sitting down now and we're writing season two, which will be the last because it's such a big undertaking. I mean, the first season took us best part of two years, but it's between writing and release. Um, so we obviously got other projects going on, but we want to wrap up the story of Horizon. So we're in the process now of of shooting or sorry, writing with aiming to shoot sometime in the summer to release early next year. I think, yeah, generally the, the idea with the show, well, you know, certainly it was, it was, you know, we wanted to try it out. It was something new for us to chance to do something fun like sci-fi that you don't normally get a chance to do with sort of a normal independent or short film. And also it's just hopefully to showcase some of the great talent here in Bristol. I mean, certainly actors, as I said, it's, the cast is made up of a lot of people we worked with before who we knew we liked and were good. Uh, same goes for crew and the effects artists. So, you know, as well as, you know, being something that hopefully people can enjoy um, and hopefully then invest in things like season two uh, you know we want it to be something that can showcase what all of these guys you know can do and hopefully lead on to bigger projects and more work for everyone yeah awesome so uh, just a couple more questions uh, yeah. Simon what's it like actually you know writing co-producing and actually starring in the in the series as well uh, uh, it was a lot of fun I mean, I must admit, I was a bit nervous. So, I mean, my background, I, you know, I did acting in school and I did a few drama classes outside of that into my sort of late teens, uh, early 20s. But ultimately, directing is what I want to do. So I kind of started to do more stuff behind the camera and I let that go. But I always enjoyed it as a hobby. So now, again, a sort of short film project or something would come up that I'd get involved in. And then actually, whilst we were writing, it was Paul that suggested, well, hey, do you want to be in this? Uh, which I was initially a bit nervous about because, you know, people would know that I was involved behind the scenes as well. So, you know, I feel that maybe there's a critical eye. So I didn't want to do it, you know, unless I thought I could do a good job of it. And obviously that's up for the audience to judge. Um, but then the more we wrote it, the more I felt confident about doing it. And also, frankly, it was just a lot of fun. I mean, you know, I've got a bit of a baby face. I often get cast as sort of the nervous geek or, you know, the kind of bookworm sort of character. So <laughs> thanks, mate. So to be able to do things like dive out of explosions, hang upside down in cars, it was very hard to refuse that. And it was a lot of fun. It was a very safe environment to do it because as I said, I knew the crew, I knew a lot of the cast. So yeah, it, it was great. It was really cool. Awesome. All right. So how can people actually watch the web series? Well, the website is uh, under www.horizonwebseries.com um, and that's our main site where you can watch all 10 episodes and each episode is also accompanied by uh, a behind the scenes interview um, re referring to that uh, particular episode so you can see how it was all put together whether it's interviews with the cast or whether it's myself and Simon and Chris or our sound mixer or whoever it may be uh, and also you can find us on Facebook um, which is facebook.com forward slash uh, horizon web series 
and on Twitter under um, Horizon Web Show. And, and it'd be great if, if anyone watches Horizon at the festival and enjoys it, it'd be great to hear from you. So uh, by all means, give us a shout Absolutely. on Facebook or Twitter. Please send us your, send us your thoughts, good or bad. Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. Man, I, 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 will, I forgot about that. The behind the scenes is awesome because you, you also get to see like how you guys did that. So I'm sure it'll be inspiration, inspirational to other filmmakers and web series creators. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Most definitely. All right, gentlemen. Well, thanks so much for coming on the show. Um, again, you guys will be uh, showing Horizon at the DC Web Fest. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Cheers, Thank Kevin. Thank you.